Hey guys, it's your boy Arj back again with another theory and analysis video for the Dragon Ball Super Movie 2018 coming out in December. And yesterday I quickly brought to you the first leak scan of Goku and Vegeta's new Arctic jacket design and of course the first look at Frieza. But I now have a copy of it in HD which we'll be looking at and we're going to explain exactly why these Saiyans need jackets at all. But as always let me know what you think in the comments down below were you a bit confused to see saiyans needing jackets when they've braved harsher conditions or do you just like the new designs let me know down below but before we begin guys if you're new here don't forget to smash that subscribe button to enter our ps4 pro giveaway with a copy of dragon ball fighters all sponsored by bandai namco and the competition ends in literally just over two weeks so get that done right now and join the gang today but moving on here is the V-Jump scan in HD courtesy of Govita XV. Now obviously first things first, this looks pretty damn clean. Freezer looks nice here, like he originally did back in Z. More bulks up slightly more than he was in Super and his new henchmen Remo, Chirai and Kikono looking as weak as ever. I mean shout out to Toriyama for progressiveness, having a new female villain but all three of these guys look disappointing to me right now in appearance. For one, they've got zero muscle mass. For two, they are holding guns. And for three, he ain't even that hot. But let's now talk about these hype beasts right here. These fashionable guys, Goku and Vegeta, in their long line winter jackets. No hats, no gloves, just jackets. And when we first have a look at these guys, the first thing we say is Damn! That is some good ass jackets that they've got there. But then we think, aren't these two the most powerful warriors in the universe? Haven't they been in not only harsh conditions, but also similar conditions in the past? I mean, for God's sake, they originated from a race that plundered every single kind of planet, including icy planets and I'm sure they weren't wearing no North Face jackets when they did that. So what this leads me to believe then, because I know Toriyama isn't just doing this for the sake of it, it makes me think about whether the weather they are about to face is not natural and if it's even of this earth. We've already seen the landscape they are battling on from the trailer. It's icy, we get it, it's cold. But we already know also from Toriyama himself that this movie will feature at least one new never before seen planet. And for some certainty now, it must be this icy planet because the fight we see in that trailer features a Goku with no jacket and no sign of anyone else in the horizon. What I'm thinking is, in this movie there will be two visits to this planet. One visit where Goku is trying to warm up by jumping and starting the fight immediately, but in this fight it's possible that this Saiyan is able to win, thus setting the tone for the entire film and the idea of a new villain that they need to overcome. What I think however is that the extreme cold of this place will play a significant role in why Goku loses and it may even be controlled by the ancient Saiyan himself. This is after all no ordinary Saiyan, he's got green key for one and yellow eyes for two, so his abilities are relatively unknown. But what we can say here is that the background here doesn't look too rough initially, definitely not enough for jackets all of a sudden, so there must be some event where things get significantly worse and I believe it will be directly related to this Saiyan's abilities given we already have this image of his shadow on the ice which spurred many of us to begin referring to him as a frozen ancient Saiyan meaning they not only would be completely used to this climate but also in complete control of it also. Now moving on to these jackets and we can say these are no doubt not going to be your run of the mill coats. If we look closely at them we can see they are actually both the exact same style on Goku and Vegeta with the white stripes on the arms and it's more than likely for this reason these are actually specially produced by Bulma herself in her lab with special features like complete thermal insulation and the ability to withstand trauma and I'm almost equally certain there will be some reference here from her that she used similar materials here to what she used in the great Saiyan outfit back in Dragon Ball Z when she made that for Gohan and I know you guys can see that happening too can't you? But yeah guys that was it for today's Dragon Ball Super Movie 2018 Theory Analysis video covering exactly why two powerful Saiyans like Goku and Vegeta are in need of winter jackets. 
is deeper than just fashion and I think will have everything to do with the new Ancient Saiyan they face and his home turf. As always though, make sure to leave your comments down below about why you think they need these jackets and whether you agree with my predictions. Let me know down below but before you guys go, if you're new here don't forget to smash that subscribe button to enter our PS4 Pro giveaway with a copy of Dragon Ball Fighters, all sponsored by Bandai Namco. With just over two weeks left until our winner is picked, this is your chance now, but until next video guys, cheers.